say you know preliminary information about this matchup. It's going to be a very easy. It's going to be a tough time for Puff based on up airs and up bees because she dies dumb early. But Puff does have a lot of aerial mobility and a lot of strong distance uh, hitbox and just disjoint hitboxes with Nair. Um, and it's going to be hard for Luigi to DI out of the down airs a lot. Um, but by the same token, CTG isn't going to be able to get those rest combos that can take such quick stocks against other characters. There's going to be a lot of a war of attrition, a lot of edge guarding. And there's a quick one. Dead at 77. And that's the danger in this matchup. Quick up, up there. Up there. And perhaps a controller error. Maybe wanted to shield drop fireball, but strong there. Yeah, this is where it's going to be very difficult. So the right option there by CTG, but just the wrong distance. Shield push up. run-in up airs, uh, specifically stick jumping or full hopping at this point, uh, to get that extra height to follow up with an up or down beat. Teleport's a little bit too far, it does CTG. Ooh, counters that forward air with a brilliant down B. And the get-up attack over a hundred hits. CDG lands a weak forward air to a, a weak nair to a strong nair. Oh, he got up way too soon. And Freya's doing a job of cutting off a lot of Jiggly's, uh, CTG's aerial mobility with these fireballs. CTG doesn't really know how to deal with this coin, it seems. He's getting pickpocketed repeatedly. But a back throw will finally kill. But this is exactly what you don't want in this matchup. You don't want your Luigi opponent living to a buck fifty. Meanwhile, Luigi's content to land those stray hits every once in a while. And even a forward throw at such low percent isn't going to lead to anything. And you extremely have to be beware of Luigi's out of shield options if you're puff. And again, on the other hand, Luigi, or Puff, out of shield options, practically non-existent. Slippery little back air there. A forward throw, and as we know, Luigi's forward throw stronger than the Democratic version of Smash. Back throw. Great by Freyan to just fade where he needs to. A little too early there, but Freyan being so tricky at the ledge. Gets the crouch canceled. Didn't really have a lot of options. Oh, that's going to be rough for CTG. Oh, uh, but Freyan mis misjudges the distance. Interestingly enough, that kind of oh forward throw kill, that kind of shield or defense is going to work out in Freyan's favor because of the sheer amount of push off or uh, of uh, distance that Puff is going to travel from such a strong move. Shield jump by Freyan, beautiful. There, there's a quick rest, and he's gonna. Probably wake up in time. Uh, only takes three percent. That was a, a pretty fortunate turn there. Oh, but that's so fortunate for CTG that. Oh, Nair, great DI by Freyan to mix up where he was going. 
that was going to be a rest in the middle of it. With down smash, and Freeman only has his up B. But CTG takes game one in really just a war of attrition. He landed a quick rest uh, on that penultimate stock, but appeared to be in danger for escaping that impending up B. I think Fran has to just be a little bit more aware of the, the Nair situation. CTG knows not to follow up with that the dash attack. Down smash at the correct time then. But, oh, but Luigi goes above. Up B, not enough to kill. He was only at what? He was at 32 minus 5. Down B. 77 again, but he was at a much lower spot on stage, so. Oh, and he <laughs> doesn't get pushed off all the way. Allowing free in that free grip. Back throw. And Puff's back throw has such an interesting angle. It's bad for a lot of characters, but. Good job there to just take the fireball, down smash, maybe trade with the coin. Up air, up air, rest, and that's gonna kill. CTG with a lead. But given that both these characters have such. Oh, great DI, my friend, to escape. Another rest, and CTG will live. That's not a punish that's going to be too devastating. That was dangerous for Freyan. Oh, the weak pump smash. Back throw. Oh, and CTG goes for so much. Dead at 34. I can't condone that kind of option there. Sticking to what works seems to be honestly what's going well for both players. Um, Freeman now playing that horizontal fireball lockout game, but he lands a strong there. And the jabs will... Uh, jabs will take out the fireball. The get-up attack doesn't work, but CTG turns that around beautifully. Freeman had a bit of a... a bit of a lockout there, but 